hey y'all welcome back to another video first things first if you haven't seen my last video go ahead and check it out i let you guys know that i planned on doing some rearranging and organizing and of course cleaning up my office so here i am so i started by moving some things around i saved the closet for last which i'm glad i did because whew, girl of course brian helped me move my desk around i don't usually rearrange anything when he's home because he's afraid that I will break something, break myself. You know, y'all know I'm a, I'm a little bit clumsy, but this is the weekend. He didn't have to work and I needed to do what I needed to do. So. Game over. I've got nothing left to lose. So I start over. What you really want? What you waiting on? Let's go. Changed around my office to how I want it to be. As y'all saw in the last clip, that was last night. It's a new day. Today is Sunday. And I have a few things I need to do to finish up all this stuff. I have some stuff that I want to put on Poshmark. Before my YouTube days, I was a full-time eBay reseller and Poshmark reseller. I have a few things that I want to put on Poshmark today. Like these heels y'all i was listening to um i was listening to george benson always a vibe uh people always tell vine and i that we have such old souls and we do <laughs> these shoes are a bit dusty i have to wipe them off but i've never worn them so i'm gonna put these on the poshmark for a couple bucks shoes right here that I never wore. I got them from um, Shein, but I don't like this style of shoe. I thought that I would. Maybe I need something that's a little bit wider for my feet. Cause I have like, I kind of have like fat toes. So <laughs> I am gonna put these up on Poshmark as well. Brand new. I've had them for like a year. And then I have these. Those are, those are from Shein. I don't, I don't remember where these are from but brand new never wore them because i was like okay these are wider maybe my feet would look good in these and they don't or maybe i'm just not wearing them with the right thing i had on some jeans but maybe these aren't my style of shoes so i'm gonna put these up on poshmark i have like this pile of shoes over here on the floor that i'm gonna go through wipe off and see what i want see what i don't want most of these are heels yeah that's what i'm currently doing right now sipping on my tea and i have my collagen and chlorophyll water right here that i'm going to drink next and yeah y'all it's just a vibe in here i gotta do a lot of like dusting i started last night but i have to finish up but yeah y'all i'm gonna finish up and then i'll come back and show you guys I give you guys a little tour of my office even though i mean it's the same things i'm just moving stuff around and yeah i'll be back i'll be back to show y'all the finished product so here's my office i've only changed around a few things um but yeah this is it there is no new furniture in here everything is things that i've already had i just kind of moved it around to you know give me like a make it seem like it's a new space but yeah and so i moved my desk right here and like in the middle of the office the room and i brought out my cricket because i want to start using it more not just for t-shirts if y'all have a cricket leave me some ideas down below in the comments of what i can do um besides what i've already done with my cricket um so yeah let me know i have to do I'm going to do my own research as well, but I want to know what you guys are making with your Cricut and all of that. So I just did a lot of organizing, y'all. I still have to go through this because I have a lot of hangers left over. I have to actually go to Goodwill today 
to drop off two bags. And I know people will say, don't take it to Goodwill, don't take it to Goodwill. Listen, I'm trying to get rid of this stuff, okay? So <laughs> here's my closet. I got rid of a lot of shoes. Some I will be uh, selling on Poshmark. I placed those in the living room just to keep them separate. But yes, I just have a few shoes up there. Uh, my heels down here and some sandals. But yeah, I have my long sleeve jackets here. This is like mostly my winter stuff and then my dresses are right here and um i thought about going to h&m or to tj maxx to see what they have but i think i'm going to wait because i don't need any more summer clothes right now i want to start getting some more fall but i'm going to have to wait so um i moved this in here this was uh over there so i moved it in the closet and just have my printer up there, a steamer, and then my short sleeve shirts. These are not all of my clothes. I do have, um, I do have clothes in our bedroom. So these are not all of my tops and everything. These are just the tops that I like to be hung, and some shorts right here, and then um, my mannequin head, <laughs> my dirty mannequin head, uh, some uh, clutches and hats down there and, and there I have some more purses my yarn and stuff like that so yeah y'all I organized my closet that's what took me the longest y'all hey. 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 so first stop is the beauty section okay and I don't see I didn't want like any makeup or anything but there's a few things. Oh, look at this. They have some lash adhesive. Okay, Dollar Tree. This is uh, by LA Colors. I wonder if I should try this. I'm gonna try this. They have another one right here. What's the difference? Okay, that is clear and this one is black. Beauty blenders. Lip, lip oil by LA Colors. That one is dragon fruit. This one is pomegranate. I love pomegranate. Anything. They have grapefruit. These will be nice things for um like a gift basket or something. My sister bought some of this right here. And it wasn't this color. It was another color. And then she, she ended up, it was this one. She ended up leaving it to my house. And I threw it away. Like girl. You don't like it, I don't want it either. <laughs> I heard a lot of things about the Clean Beauty brand, uh, well, the Be Pure brand right here. They have a lot of stuff in Dollar Tree. I bought some of these uh, last week, the um, eyebrow razors. They work really good for $1.25. I think at the beauty supply store, they're like a dollar each, but you can get three for $1.25. Two piece of uh, precision facial razors. Oh, this will be good for uh, dumber planning. These beauty blenders are cute. Cute. And look at these facial serums. Help skin appear brighter. That is the, um, this is niacinamide. And this one is hyaluronic acid. I've never purchased face masks from here. I'm still not going to because I have very sensitive skin, but they do have some. This is with the firming serum, collagen plus vitamin A, C, and E. This is hand and nail gloves, vitamin C and E, three step facial kit, complete skincare system, cuticle remover. Listen, Dollar Tree has everything for the nails. Um, do they sell gel polish? All I use is gel polish, but I don't think that they have gel polish. Coconut body oil, vitamin E body oil. I love me some uh, body oil, I really do. Oh, these are like the dupes for the Vaseline um, sticks. Um, I always use this, like when I apply my perfume, it helps it stay, stay on longer on your skin. This is like the native deodorant, y'all. 
called natural deodorant by the brand Be Pure. They have that one and they have this one too. These are three dollars by the way. I'm, I'm assuming they're five. I don't know. These are five. Axe deodorants. Full size, okay. Three ounce. They have small spaces. I know they have their own like brand of the dupe for these. They have all detergent. Y'all, I should try a coupon. I wish Dollar Tree had digital coupons. That would be good if they all of a sudden, they do have an app. I did see an app, but it would be really nice if they added digital coupons so we can start a couponing at Dollar Tree again. Y'all know I was the queen of couponing at Dollar Tree. Yes, I was. Okay. And um, I was using paper coupons, of course, but now I don't buy paper coupons. We saw these already for $3.25. But now I don't buy paper coupons, so it would be nice for them to have digital coupons since they're getting full size things like these. This is 32 fluid ounce. I'm assuming it's $5. A lot of stuff in here, girl. The two pack of palm olive for five. Dawn with the gain in there. I'm assuming it's five. Yeah, they have mop buckets. Oh, you know what? These fans I saw the last time I came, they're $20. No, yeah, $19. $19. And they're 20 inch fans. This reminds me of Cetaphil. Yeah, it says compare to Cetaphil. Gentle skin cleanser. These remind me of the honey pot, honey pot pads. But it's by Be Pure for 125, and there's 10 that comes in here. Aloe infused, lavender infused. These are the overnight pads. They do have the super pads too, and the liners. I think I've seen this brand of uh, hand soap at Dollar General, the Scent Happy. If I'm not mistaken, I heard that these weren't good. But if you guys have tried these, let me know. They're 125. Arm and Hammer hand soap. Antibacterial wipes. I'm about to get one of these. They have this one, which is a travel size. There's 40 in here and there's 50 in here. I'm both 125. I realized that I would be in here for over an hour if I showed you guys all the things that they have. Y'all just gotta come look. I'm about to grab one of these um, floss picks. You can still come to Dollar Tree and get nice stuff you know for 125 i passed by this dub i didn't even see it how much are these okay they're five bucks and they have the deep moisture refreshing well at my store this is what they have left <laughs> and the sensitive skin and these are 11 fluid ounce so they're not that big but they're a nice size these remind me of native body wash personal care peach rings I know they had other kinds and then look at this these are four dollars the shampoo and conditioner daily moisture intensive pair repair these are 12 fluid ounce for four bucks they have some of this body wash over here too oh okay never fails never 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 okay what is this bond strength peptide complex shampoo the dupe for the pink stuff if you guys have tried this let me know how you like it <laughs> these look like luxury items all-purpose cleaners i smell both of them they have lavender breeze and peppermint sage i really like the peppermint sage not too much the lavender breeze oh they have the wipes too what is it that you need you show i need a couple of those uh, lavender ones. okay yes. how many would you like two I've had some okay. shampoo. No, I haven't tried it. Oh, it's a, I've used it for 10 years. Really? And it's better than Tide. It's better for anything you've ever used. That's nice to know. And it's just a dollar and a quarter. Right. <laughs> I don't use anything. And then you don't have to buy no fabric softener. <laughs> See? <laughs> Two in one. <laughs> I'm an old lady. That's okay. Oh, that's the same thing. I didn't see it now. Oh, that's fine. But don't use the other, just that. Just Purple. the lavender one. Purple. Okay. I'm very happy. 
Have a good day. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Look at these um, exfoliating scrubs. Cotton candy exfoliating sugar scrub. They have these three different kind of feminine wipes. Rain scent, lavender scent, and unscented. Now look at these little privacy pouches for like your uh, feminine products. This is cute. Oh, we see one. Oh, here's another one. These are so cute. Is this like a dupe for the Olay body wash? <laughs> it's giving Olay <laughs> for 125. Uh, coconut, vanilla, peach rings we already saw. They have these antibacterial hand wipes for 125. There's 50 that come in here. These remind me of like Venus razors. There's only three blades I like to use for, so I'm not getting any of these. Dollar Tree is coming up and we do love it. I didn't find a lot of the things that I went in there for that I, I actually have screenshots for, but I'll probably visit another Dollar Tree later on this week. But um, most of the things I picked up are things that I needed to restock, um, things that I wanted to try or things that I just, I just picked up because they had it for 125. Hi. Not them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's all that I picked up today at Dollar Tree. So yeah, y'all, I wanted to talk to y'all about friends. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. <laughs> One you can depend on. Friends. Uh, so I mentioned in the vlog before last how um, I didn't have friends and if God blessed me with a friend and that would be great but if he didn't that would be great too because like I'm a person that really believes that um, why did that go on? what's for me will always be for me you know like it will always find me it will not miss me it won't miss me I guess I shouldn't say that I don't have friends because I do like Brian and I. My husband is, of course, he's my bestest friend in the whole wide world. We do have friends that like are married couples, but like I don't have a close friend. I just, I guess I should say that. Um, I do have friends of the family that I don't consider like friends. I, I consider them like my sisters. And then of course, y'all don't have a lot of sisters in general. Um, yeah, I guess I can't say that I don't have friends, but I don't have a close friend at all. So on this journey of like blooming, y'all, like on this journey of me just, you know, just being my higher self, just letting people go, letting things go and, um, you know just getting in alignment I realized that I told y'all this I realized that I was dimming my light and I decided that I did not want to do that anymore now, and no friendship is for no relationship is perfect nobody's perfect so I would like a friend that has like I need, I need like a divine connection you know what I mean I've never had a friendship of you know like substance I have to have deep connections with people like that's just that's that's what I need that's what I prefer that's what my personality trait desires so I need I, I would like a friend that you know has substance you know that's not empty and one thing I can honestly say is that I am like my I am my own best friend like before I met Brian I was my own best friend um, I find peace within myself and I'm a great friend to myself. I motivate myself, I encourage myself and anything outside of me doing that for myself is just extra for me. So, um, which I do appreciate. One thing about me right now is I'm not dimming my light. I'm not accepting anything that, you know, I don't deserve. 
I'm not settling. Like, I don't even settle. Like, if I go to the grocery store, y'all, and they don't have, like, let's say a specific candy bar that I really want, and they don't have it, guess what I'm doing? I'm walking out. <laughs> because if I pick up anything else, to me, that's like settling. And um, I decided a long time ago that I was no longer settling for anything. So I'm definitely not going to settle for a friend just to say I have a friend. I've always had friendships where there was no reciprocation. Um, they were draining, sucking the life out of me, very overwhelming. I'm an empath, so um, I feel people's emotions deeply. Sometimes with the weight of that, it can be very overwhelming for me. So I find myself um, guarding my heart. I have ways that I exercise to keep myself grounded just so I don't become overwhelmed by other people's emotions. Like, I, I feel like I deeply understand people more than what they even understand about themselves. I'm just very intuitive, intuitive and like my sensitivity to people is very like it's so heightened to where i have to um find ways to protect myself and sometimes that may be me not having friends <laughs> i don't know i'm just like i'm so secure within myself and i don't need um to have like a huge friend group for me to be validated or for me to feel like I'm somebody. I know I'm somebody all by myself. Like even before Brian, I I just, I love myself. Like I really do love who I am and I don't want anybody to come into my life that will get upset because I love myself so much and they don't like themselves. I'm not saying that all friendships have a drama. Even though I don't have close friends, I have a community of people, y'all, that um, care about me, care about my well-being, my family. A lot of people don't have that, so I'm grateful for what I do have. Sorry, y'all. I know the camera was all jacked up. I was trying to concentrate on driving. I should have probably um, talked to y'all at home, but I was in a rush, okay? I have a headache. I took some ibuprofen, and I'm waiting for it to kick in. And then, you know what? I'm going on a rant now. Like, I've had friendships where... People have made decisions and then later on down the line, they realize that that decision was wrong. And at the same time, they try to convince you, like they don't tell you that, but they try to convince you that it's greener over here. And then when you don't do it, they get mad at you <laughs> because in reality, they really want you to join their misery. That's all I wanted to say about that, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. I love y'all, and I will see you guys in the next video. And if you have a good friend, be good to them. Peace.